mistakes you should not make at an older age. Stoicism. As we journey through the later stages of life, it's crucial to embrace this phase with wisdom and mindfulness. Our needs and priorities evolve, and so should our approach to living well. Today on Stoic In Your Life, we delve into 11 mistakes that you should steer clear of in your older years. These aren't just common pitfalls. They are crucial areas that, if neglected, can diminish the quality of your life. From maintaining physical health to nurturing mental resilience, we'll explore practical strategies grounded in Stoic philosophy to ensure you lead a fulfilling, serene, and vibrant life. Let's dive in and make the most out of our golden years by learning what to avoid and how to thrive with wisdom and grace. Mistake number one, neglecting physical health. As we journey through life, especially beyond the age of 30, our focus often shifts towards refining our wisdom and fortifying our legacy. However, in our quest for personal growth and fulfillment, it's easy to overlook some critical aspects that significantly impact our quality of life. Inspired by the timeless wisdom of Stoicism, let's explore the first mistake you should not make at an older age, neglecting physical health. Think of your body as a finely tuned machine that requires consistent maintenance to operate efficiently. Just as a car needs regular oil changes and tune-ups to avoid breaking down, your body demands exercise and proper nutrition to remain healthy and vibrant. Marcus Aurelius once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This quote emphasizes the importance of taking control over our choices, including our physical health. Engaging in regular physical activity is crucial, irrespective of age. Exercise helps maintain muscle mass, enhance flexibility, and improve balance, thereby reducing the risk of falls and injuries. It also boosts cardiovascular health and elevates mood through the release of endorphins, the body's natural feel-good chemicals, whether it's walking, swimming, yoga, or dancing. Find an activity that brings you joy and incorporate it into your routine. Remember, it's never too late to start exercising. Consult your doctor to develop a safe and effective exercise plan tailored to your needs and capabilities. Equally important is maintaining a balanced diet. Aim to include a variety of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains in your meals. Staying hydrated and limiting the intake of processed foods, sugars, and unhealthy fats can make a significant difference. Your diet plays a vital role in keeping you energized and healthy, which is essential for a fulfilling life. As we delve deeper into the principles of Stoicism, another critical aspect is managing stress and emotions. It's easy to become overwhelmed by the pressures and demands of modern life. Epictetus wisely noted, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This quote underscores the importance of emotional resilience. Learning to manage stress through mindfulness, meditation, and other relaxation techniques can greatly enhance your well-being. By practicing gratitude and focusing on the positive aspects of life, you can shift your mindset and approach challenges with a calm and composed attitude. Building strong relationships and surrounding yourself with supportive people also plays a crucial role in maintaining emotional health. These connections provide a sense of belonging and support, helping you navigate through tough times. Mistake number two, ignoring mental health. Ignoring your mental health as you age is a significant mistake, one that can have profound consequences on your overall well-being. Just as you pay attention to your physical health, it's equally important to nurture your mental and emotional well-being. 
As we grow older, we often face life changes that can impact our mental health, such as the loss of loved ones, retirement, or physical health challenges. It's crucial to acknowledge these changes and seek help when needed. Mental health isn't just about the absence of mental illness. It encompasses our emotional, psychological, and social well-being, influencing how we think, feel, and act. Imagine a friend who retired recently and started feeling isolated and purposeless. Instead of addressing these feelings, he chose to ignore them, thinking they would pass. Unfortunately, his mental health deteriorated, impacting his daily life and relationships. This story is not uncommon, but it highlights why paying attention to mental health is vital. Engaging in activities that stimulate your mind and bring joy is essential. Reading, solving puzzles, learning new skills, or engaging in hobbies can keep your mind sharp and active. Don't hesitate to seek support if you're feeling overwhelmed or struggling with emotions. Talking to a therapist, counselor, or trusted friend can provide valuable perspective and support. Practicing mindfulness and relaxation techniques, such as meditation or deep breathing, can help manage stress and promote emotional well-being. Social connections are also crucial for mental health. Maintain relationships with family, friends, and your community. Engage in activities that foster social interaction and provide a sense of purpose and belonging. Have you ever noticed how good you feel after spending time with friends or loved ones? That's the power of social connection at work. It's these interactions that help keep us grounded and provide emotional support during challenging times. Consider the story of Jane, who after retiring felt lost without the daily interactions of her workplace. She decided to join a local book club and started volunteering at a community center. These activities not only kept her mentally active, but also introduced her to new friends and gave her a renewed sense of purpose. Jane's proactive approach to her mental health allowed her to thrive in her later years, showing us the importance of staying socially connected and mentally engaged. Reflect on your own life. Are there areas where you might be neglecting your mental health? How can you integrate more joy and social connection into your daily routine? Taking these steps can significantly improve your quality of life. Mistake number three, neglecting financial planning. Imagine reaching a point in life where you no longer need to worry about your financial stability because you've planned wisely and thoroughly. This brings us to the third mistake that people often make as they age, neglecting financial planning. Financial security plays a pivotal role in ensuring you live comfortably in your later years. Without proper planning, you might face unforeseen financial stress that could significantly affect your quality of life. Have you ever considered how your current financial habits will impact your future? This is a crucial question we should all ask ourselves. To start, it's essential to assess your current financial situation and make a concrete plan for the future. Think about your income sources. Are they stable and sufficient? What about your expenses? Do you know exactly where your money goes each month? Savings and investments are also key elements to consider. Creating a budget that aligns with your needs and goals can make a huge difference. As Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. This wisdom holds especially true when it comes to financial planning. Understanding your retirement income is another critical aspect. Do you know how much you'll receive from pensions, savings, or other sources once you retire? It's vital to have a clear picture of this to avoid any surprises down the road. If you find managing your finances overwhelming, 
Don't hesitate to seek advice from a financial planner. They can help you devise a strategy to ensure your money lasts throughout your retirement. A financial planner can provide personalized advice based on your unique situation, helping you navigate complex decisions with confidence. Planning for potential healthcare expenses is equally important. Medical costs can be unpredictable and sometimes exorbitant. Do you have insurance that covers long-term care or unexpected medical needs? Thinking ahead about these potential expenses can save you from significant financial strain later. Consider exploring insurance options that provide comprehensive coverage and peace of mind. As the Stoic philosopher Seneca wisely noted, the greatest blessings of mankind are within us and within our reach. This insight encourages us to take proactive steps towards securing our future well-being. Moreover, beyond daily expenses, consider your legacy and how you wish to distribute your assets. Estate planning, including the creation of wills and trusts, can provide clarity and ensure your wishes are honored after you're gone. Have you thought about how you want to be remembered and the impact you want to leave behind? This is not just about financial assets, but also about the values and lessons you wish to pass on. Reflecting on these questions can guide your decisions and give you a sense of purpose and fulfillment. To make your financial planning comprehensive, consider the following steps. Evaluate your current financial status, create a realistic budget, understand your retirement income, seek professional advice, plan for health care expenses, and think about your legacy. Each of these steps is interconnected and contributes to a secure and comfortable future. As you navigate this process, remember that it's never too late to start planning and that taking small steps today can lead to significant benefits tomorrow. Neglecting financial planning is a mistake that can have far-reaching consequences. By being proactive and thoughtful about your finances, you can avoid unnecessary stress and enjoy a more fulfilling life. What actions can you take today to improve your financial future? This question is an invitation to reflect and act, ensuring that your later years are marked by security and peace of mind. By embracing the principles of Stoicism and applying them to your financial planning, you can navigate life's uncertainties with resilience and wisdom. Imagine reaching a point in life where you no longer need to worry about your financial stability because you've planned wisely and thoroughly. This brings us to the third mistake that people often make as they age. Neglecting financial planning. Financial security plays a pivotal role in ensuring you live comfortably in your later years. Without proper planning, you might face unforeseen financial stress that could significantly affect your quality of life. Have you ever considered how your current financial habits will impact your future? This is a crucial question we should all ask ourselves. Thank you for joining us in today's discussion. Before we move on to the next segment, I'd like to take a moment to express my gratitude to you. It's a pleasure to have you as a member of our community. Please feel free to share your story or personal impressions. Alternatively, if you're unsure of what to say, simply leave a comment saying, I am a newbie, if you've just joined us, or I am stoic, if you've been with us for a while. Your engagement not only signifies your presence, but also serves as significant motivation for us. All right, let's continue this journey together, shall we? Mistake number four, becoming socially isolated. The fourth mistake to avoid as we age is becoming socially isolated. Human beings are inherently social creatures and maintaining social connections is vital for our well-being. Social isolation can lead to loneliness, depression, 
and even physical health issues. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus taught that we should strive to live harmoniously with others, recognizing that we are part of a larger whole. Thus, it is crucial to make a conscious effort to stay connected with others, whether through family, friends, or community groups. Relationships are the fabric of our lives, providing us with emotional support, reducing stress, and increasing our feelings of happiness and purpose. To foster these connections, consider joining clubs, attending social events, or participating in community activities that interest you. Such engagements not only enrich your social life, but also keep your mind active and engaged. Volunteering can be a particularly fulfilling way to meet new people and contribute to your community, creating a sense of purpose and belonging. Seneca, another great Stoic philosopher, wrote, No man is an island, reminding us that our well-being is interconnected with those around us. If you find it challenging to connect with others, Seek opportunities through local senior centers, religious organizations, or online communities. Technology can be a wonderful ally in maintaining connections. Video calls, social media, and messaging apps enable us to stay in touch with loved ones, even if they live far away. By embracing these tools, we can bridge the physical distances that might otherwise lead to isolation. Moreover, the importance of social connections extends beyond just casual interactions. Deep, meaningful relationships can be a source of profound joy and support. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, often reflected on the value of friendships and the strength we gain from our connections with others. By nurturing these relationships, we not only enrich our own lives, but also contribute positively to the lives of those around us. In today's fast-paced digital world, it is easy to become disconnected even when we are surrounded by people. Therefore, it is essential to be intentional about our social interactions. Schedule regular meetups with friends, participate in group activities, and reach out to family members. These actions may seem small, but they build a robust network of support that can significantly enhance our quality of life. Furthermore, staying socially active has been shown to have numerous health benefits. Studies indicate that social engagement can reduce the risk of cognitive decline, boost the immune system, and even increase longevity. Thus, the effort we put into maintaining our social connections pays off in numerous tangible ways. As we grow older, avoiding social isolation should be a priority. By actively seeking and maintaining social connections, we uphold the stoic principle of living in harmony with our nature as social beings. Remember the words of Epictetus, we are not isolated individuals, but part of a greater whole. Let this wisdom guide us in nurturing our relationships, staying connected, and living a fulfilling, balanced life. Engage with your community, cherish your friendships, and use the tools at your disposal to stay in touch with loved ones. In doing so, you will not only avoid the pitfalls of isolation, but also embrace the enriching, supportive power of human connection, embodying the true spirit of stoicism in your daily life. Mistake number five, staying in toxic relationships. The next common mistake many of us make, especially as we grow older, is staying in toxic relationships. These kinds of relationships can slowly drain your energy and have a profound negative impact on your emotional well-being. The first step in addressing this is recognizing the signs. Pay close attention to how you feel after interacting with certain individuals. Do you often feel drained, belittled, or unhappy after these interactions? If so, you might be entangled in a toxic relationship. 
These relationships can take many forms. They might be with friends, family members, or even romantic partners. Regardless of who it involves, if a relationship isn't beneficial to your well-being, it's crucial to consider distancing yourself, or in some cases, cutting ties entirely. However, sometimes it's not feasible to walk away completely. In these instances, setting clear boundaries becomes essential. Communicate your needs and expectations assertively without feeling guilty or anxious. It's vital not to allow others to infringe on your personal space or make you feel inferior. By establishing healthy boundaries, you protect yourself and improve the quality of your relationships. Imagine the difference it could make to be surrounded by people who genuinely support you and make you feel good. Seek out relationships that enrich your life, bring joy, and foster your personal growth. Consider the words of writer and philosopher Jim Rohn, who famously said, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Reflect on this statement and evaluate the people you interact with most frequently. Are they positive and inspiring? or do they bring negativity into your life? Surrounding yourself with positive influences is a powerful step toward a happier and healthier life. To illustrate, let's delve into a modern story that many can relate to. Sarah, a successful professional, found herself constantly exhausted and emotionally depleted due to her longtime friendship with Jane. Jane was always negative, criticizing Sarah's choices and belittling her achievements. Despite the emotional toll, Sarah hesitated to distance herself because of their long history. One day, after a particularly draining conversation, Sarah decided to take a step back and reevaluate her relationships. She began to set boundaries, limiting her interactions with Jane and instead focused on nurturing relationships with friends who were supportive and uplifting. Over time, Sarah noticed a significant improvement in her emotional well-being and overall happiness. Now think about your own life. Are there people who consistently drain your energy and bring negativity? How can you set boundaries or distance yourself to protect your well-being? These are critical questions to ask yourself. It's never too late to make changes that positively impact your mental and emotional health. Staying in toxic relationships is a significant mistake that can hinder your happiness and growth. Recognize the signs of these relationships, set clear boundaries, and prioritize surrounding yourself with positive influences. The value you bring to your own life by making these changes cannot be overstated. By taking these steps, you ensure that your later years are filled with joy, growth, and meaningful connections. Remember, you deserve to be surrounded by people who uplift and inspire you, not those who bring you down. So take a moment to reflect on your relationships and make the choices that best serve your well-being. Leading a fulfilling and happy life involves avoiding certain common mistakes. Mistake number six is not adapting to technology. Adapting to technology in our older age can feel like learning a new language, but it's a mistake not to embrace it. In today's world, technology is as essential as electricity, making it indispensable for our daily lives. By neglecting technology, we miss out on opportunities that can enhance our quality of life, simplify tasks, and keep us connected. It's natural to feel intimidated by new gadgets and applications, but starting with small, manageable steps can demystify the process. Begin by learning to send a text message, make a video call, or browse the internet. These simple skills can open up a world of possibilities Think of technology as a tool that can enrich various aspects of your life. If you enjoy reading, ebooks can provide you with a portable library. 
if you're eager to learn new things. Online courses are readily accessible and cover a vast array of subjects. Moreover, technology is a bridge to maintaining and strengthening relationships, especially with loved ones who live far away. Video calls, social media, and instant messaging keep us connected, enabling us to share moments and experiences in real time. This sense of connection can significantly boost emotional well-being. Beyond convenience and connection, technology also plays a critical role in safety and security. Navigating the internet safely is crucial. It's essential to be cautious about sharing personal information and to recognize suspicious emails or messages to avoid scams. Cybersecurity measures such as strong passwords and understanding privacy settings can protect your digital presence. Adapting to technology isn't just about surviving in a modern world. It's about thriving. It keeps us informed and engaged, offering endless opportunities for personal growth and enjoyment. It can be empowering, transforming feelings of isolation into connections, and turning confusion into clarity. As Socrates wisely said, the secret of change is to focus all of your energy not on fighting the old, but on building the new. This philosophy can guide us in embracing technology, not as an obstacle, but as a pathway to new experiences and knowledge. So how can you start integrating technology into your life? Consider what interests you and find the technological equivalent. Love puzzles? Try online brain games, passionate about cooking. Explore recipe apps or cooking tutorials on YouTube. Each step you take towards mastering a new tech skill is a step towards a more connected and fulfilling life. Are you willing to explore this new world? What small step can you take today to become more tech savvy? Reflect on the potential benefits, staying updated with the latest news, engaging in new hobbies, and maintaining connections with friends and family. Technology can transform your daily routines and bring joy and convenience to your life. It's not about becoming a tech expert overnight, but about making gradual progress and enjoying the journey. As you grow more comfortable with technology, you'll find it becomes a valuable ally in navigating the complexities of modern life. By taking these small steps and embracing the changes that technology brings, you'll discover a world rich with possibilities. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So start today, embrace the digital age, and you'll find it can open doors to new experiences, learning and connections that enrich your life in countless ways. How do you envision your life changing with the integration of technology? What are the first steps you will take to make this transition smoother? In conclusion, adapting to technology in your older age isn't just about keeping up with the times. It's about enhancing your life staying connected with loved ones, and continuing to grow and learn. The digital world offers endless opportunities. Don't let fear or unfamiliarity hold you back. Embrace it with curiosity and an open mind, and you'll find that it's a journey well worth taking. Mistake number seven is not having hobbies or interests. As we age, it's crucial to reflect on how we spend our time and ensure we are nurturing our minds and spirits. A life devoid of hobbies or interests is akin to a canvas without color, lacking the vibrancy and depth that pursuits and passions bring. Engaging in hobbies not only fills our time, but also enriches our lives with joy and a sense of purpose. Seneca, a renowned Stoic philosopher, once said, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This is the essence of what hobbies bring us, a way to relish the present moment fully. Without hobbies, we risk falling into patterns of boredom and emptiness, especially in retirement 
when the structure of work is no longer present. This period of life offers a perfect chance to explore new interests or rekindle past passions. Whether it's learning to paint, diving into the world of gardening, or embarking on travel adventures, now is the time to embrace these activities. Hobbies are not just about passing time. They play a critical role in enhancing our mental and emotional well-being. Studies have shown that engaging in activities you are passionate about can significantly reduce stress levels, improve your mood, and boost overall life satisfaction. This is echoed in the wisdom of Marcos Aurelius, who said, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. By immersing ourselves in hobbies, we cultivate positive thoughts and emotions, which in turn elevate our overall happiness. Furthermore, Hobbies can keep us mentally sharp and physically active, depending on the nature of the activity. For instance, gardening involves physical exertion, while painting stimulates creativity and cognitive functions. If you find yourself without a particular hobby, take this opportunity to experiment with different activities until you discover something that genuinely excites you. Joining clubs or groups of like-minded individuals also provides a wonderful avenue to forge new friendships and social connections. Imagine the joy of waking up each day with a sense of anticipation for the activities you love. This not only fills your days with excitement, but also nurtures your soul. Whether it's the thrill of capturing the perfect photo, the tranquility of tending to a garden, or the satisfaction of completing a challenging puzzle, these pursuits bring unique fulfillment. As Epictetus wisely noted, wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. Engaging in hobbies allows us to find contentment in simple pleasures, steering us away from the constant pursuit of material wealth. In modern life, where stress and busyness are often glorified, dedicating time to hobbies is a powerful way to enrich your life and maintain a sense of balance and well-being. Hobbies are an act of self-care and a reminder to slow down and appreciate the present. By integrating hobbies into our daily routine, we create a balanced life that fosters growth and happiness. These activities can also serve as a bridge to connect with others, reducing feelings of isolation and fostering a sense of community. So whether it's picking up a musical instrument, writing poetry, or exploring new hiking trails, make time for hobbies. They are not just pastimes, but essential components of a fulfilling life. As we navigate through the later stages of our journey, let us remember the wisdom of the Stoics and the importance of living a life filled with joy, purpose, and meaningful pursuits. This is not just about avoiding the mistake of living a dull, colorless life, but about embracing the fullness and richness that hobbies bring. By doing so, we honor ourselves and the gift of life we have been given, making each moment count and finding true happiness in the present. If you've made it this far, you're embracing the wisdom of age. Drop a comment saying, I embrace growth to show you're dedicated to avoiding these mistakes and living a wiser life. Stay tuned. The journey of self-improvement continues. Mistake number eight, avoiding change and clinging to the past. The eighth mistake to avoid is resisting change and clinging to the past. Picture yourself standing on the shore, attempting to hold back the waves of the ocean with your bare hands. That's what it's like to resist change. It's futile and exhausting. Change is an inevitable part of life, and trying to avoid it will only lead to frustration and stagnation. Instead, see change as a gateway to growth and new experiences, especially as you get older. 
When you embrace change, you open yourself up to learning and personal development. Every change, no matter how small, brings with it new lessons and opportunities. Keep your mind open and flexible, ready to explore new paths and adapt to evolving circumstances. Consider the story of John, a retired engineer who found himself struggling with the digital transformation of the world around him. He resisted learning new technologies, feeling nostalgic for the simpler, analog days of his career. But one day, John decided to take a computer class at a local community center. Not only did he learn new skills, but he also discovered a passion for digital photography, something he had never considered before. This new hobby brought him immense joy and even reconnected him with old friends through social media. This story exemplifies that embracing change doesn't mean you have to forget your past. Your memories and experiences are valuable. They've shaped who you are. However, don't let them hold you back from enjoying the present and planning for the future. Nostalgia can be comforting, but it should not prevent you from experiencing new adventures. Balance your cherished memories with a willingness to step into the unknown and explore new possibilities. Staying curious and open-minded is crucial. Always be on the lookout for new skills to learn and different perspectives to consider. Whether it's picking up a new hobby, traveling to a new place, or simply trying out a new recipe, these experiences enrich your life and keep your mind agile. Stepping out of your comfort zone can be daunting, but it is often where the most profound growth occurs. Picture the changes that occur naturally in nature, the changing seasons, the growth of a seed into a tree. These transformations are not resisted but embraced as part of the cycle of life. Similarly, embracing change in your life can lead to unexpected joy and fulfillment. Think about this. What new experience have you been avoiding due to fear or comfort? How can embracing it improve your life? Engage with this thought and you may find yourself motivated to take that first step toward change. As you navigate through the waves of change, remember to keep an open and flexible mind. Cherish your past, but don't be anchored by it. Instead, use it as a foundation upon which to build new experiences. Life is a continuous journey of learning and adapting, and by welcoming change, you ensure that journey is filled with growth excitement, and fulfillment. The lesson here is clear. Resisting change leads to stagnation, while embracing it opens the door to a richer, more fulfilling life. So don't shy away from change. Face it head on with curiosity and courage. By doing so, you not only adapt to new circumstances, but also discover new aspects of yourself and the world around you. Stay curious, Stay open and keep learning. This is the key to a vibrant and fulfilling life, no matter your age. Mistake number nine, not planning for end of life care. Let's talk about something that many of us shy away from, but is incredibly important, planning for end of life care. It's a tough topic, no doubt, but avoiding it can lead to a lot of confusion and heartache for your loved ones when the time comes. If you're unable to speak for yourself and your family is left to make tough decisions without knowing what you would have wanted, it can be a difficult situation for everyone involved. This is why it's crucial to have these conversations now while you're able to express your wishes clearly. Have you ever thought about how you want your final days to look? Where do you want to spend them? What kind of medical treatments do you want to receive or avoid? Discussing these questions with your family and healthcare providers can bring you peace of mind and clarity to those who will care for you. 
creating a living will or advanced directive is a powerful way to ensure that your preferences are honored. These documents provide specific instructions about the kinds of medical treatment you do or do not want. They serve as a guide for your loved ones and healthcare team, preventing them from having to make difficult decisions in the heat of the moment. As Epictetus wisely said, don't hope that events will turn out the way you want. Welcome events in whichever way they happen. This is the path to peace. By planning ahead, you can face the future with a sense of tranquility, knowing your wishes are known and will be respected. But don't stop there. Think about appointing a healthcare proxy or power of attorney, someone you trust to make decisions on your behalf if you're unable to do so. Choose a person who understands your values and desires and who is willing to carry out your wishes even when it's tough. It's not just about medical decisions either. Think about your legacy. How do you want to be remembered? What messages or values do you want to pass on to future generations? Your end-of-life plan can include your funeral arrangements, the distribution of your assets, and personal messages to your loved ones. Consider what Marcus Aurelius said. You could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think. This is not about being morbid. It's about living a life that reflects your values and ensuring that even your final moments are consistent with those values. Have you talked to your family about what matters most to you? If not, now is the time. These conversations can be uncomfortable, but they are essential. By addressing these issues head on, you are showing your loved ones that you care enough to plan for the future. You are relieving them of the burden of making these decisions during a time of grief. Remember, planning for end-of-life care is not just about the practicalities. It's also about the emotional and spiritual aspects of leaving a legacy. What kind of stories do you want your family to tell about you? What values do you want them to remember? Take some time to write letters to your loved ones, expressing your thoughts, feelings, and hopes for their futures. Think about the broader impact you want to have. As Seneca advised, life is long if you know how to use it. Using your life well includes preparing for its end in a way that aligns with your principles. Planning for end-of-life care is a profound act of love and respect for yourself and those you care about. It is about taking control of your destiny and ensuring that your life's final chapter is written on your terms. So I ask you, what steps can you take today to ensure that your wishes for end-of-life care are known and respected? Have you prepared a living will? Have you appointed a healthcare proxy? What legacy do you want to leave behind? And how can you start building it now? Reflect on these questions, talk to your loved ones, and take action. By doing so, you are embracing the Stoic philosophy of living in accordance with nature, accepting the inevitability of life's end, and ensuring that you leave this world with dignity and grace. In summary, not planning for end-of-life care is a mistake that can cause unnecessary stress and confusion for your loved ones. By discussing your wishes, creating a living will, appointing a healthcare proxy, and thinking about your legacy, you take control of your future and provide a gift of clarity and peace to those you care about. As we navigate the complexities of life, let us remember the wisdom of the Stoics and prepare thoughtfully for the inevitable, ensuring that our final days reflect the values we have lived by. Mistake number 10, not seeking help when needed. In the journey through life, especially as we age, we often encounter a myriad of challenges that test our resilience and wisdom. The 10th mistake, 
particularly relevant to men aged 30 to 65 is the failure to seek help when needed. This reluctance stems from pride, a fear of burdening others, or even an inability to recognize when assistance is crucial. However, it is vital to understand that reaching out for support is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to our strength and self-awareness. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, no man is free who is not master of himself. This profound insight underscores the importance of acknowledging our limitations and seeking the help that can empower us to maintain our independence and well-being. In modern life, the pressures of maintaining a successful career, managing family responsibilities, and staying healthy can become overwhelming. This is especially true as we grow older and face the inevitable physical and emotional changes that come with age. Therefore, it is essential to recognize when to ask for help and to do so without hesitation. For instance, if you are struggling with daily tasks, do not hesitate to ask a family member for assistance. This simple act can significantly reduce your stress and improve your overall quality of life. Consulting healthcare professionals for medical advice is another crucial step. Regular checkups and following medical guidance can prevent minor health issues from escalating into serious problems. Moreover, seeking emotional support from friends, counselors, or support groups can help you navigate through emotional turmoil, providing you with the strength to face life's challenges with a clearer mind. Many community resources are available to provide support tailored to the needs of seniors. Organizations often offer services such as home care, transportation, and social activities designed to enhance your quality of life and help you maintain your independence. Engaging with these resources not only helps you stay active and connected, but also fosters a sense of community and belonging. Remember, leveraging these services is not about conceding to dependency, but about taking proactive steps to live a healthier, more fulfilling life. Seneca, another revered Stoic philosopher, wisely noted, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This quote reminds us that the fear of seeking help often looms larger in our minds than the reality of the act itself. By overcoming this mental barrier, you can unlock a wealth of support that is readily available. In doing so, you demonstrate courage and pragmatism, qualities that are essential for navigating the complexities of modern life. The importance of seeking help becomes even more apparent when considering the broader impact on our loved ones. By taking care of our well-being, we not only improve our own lives, but also alleviate potential burdens on those who care about us. This proactive approach creates a positive ripple effect, fostering a supportive and nurturing environment for everyone involved. Moreover, seeking help is in alignment with the stoic principle of living in accordance with nature. Acknowledging our interconnectedness and the natural human need for support is a reflection of true wisdom. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor, once wrote, what injures the hive injures the bee. This quote highlights the importance of community and mutual support. By seeking help when needed, we contribute to the well-being of the collective, ensuring that we too are well cared for in return. Reluctance. We embrace a path of wisdom and strength as emphasized by Stoic philosophy. Reaching out for support, whether physical, emotional, or practical, is a proactive step towards living a healthy and fulfilling life. It is a demonstration of self-awareness, courage, and resilience, qualities essential for navigating the challenges of aging in modern life. Therefore, let us remember that asking for help is not a sign of weakness, but a powerful affirmation of our commitment to living well and thriving. 
both as individuals and as part of a larger interconnected community. Thank you all for being here. In this video, what do you think is the most common mistake people make as they grow older? Have you encountered any of these mistakes in your own life? And how did you overcome them? If you're unsure what to comment, you could share which mistake from the video you found most surprising or insightful and why it resonated with you.